All right, hello, hello, everyone. What's good? What's good? I'm riding the Phantoms here, back with another video, of course. So, if anyone remembers, I did an updated video. Well, I did a previous video on this game. Splinter Cell Conviction. If you guys remember, this was back when I was on Linux Mint. This doesn't matter whether it's on Linux Mint or on, uh, of course, my current platform, which is Bazite. You can still do the same thing from here, whether it's Bazite, Fedora, Ubuntu, doesn't matter because this should roughly be following the same steps. So uh, this is a bit of an updated video to show how I was able to get Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Conviction to properly work and with, you know, you know, the frame rate that you would usually play, play it on um, up and running. So first things first is you go to your browse local files. You go to the SRC and you go to the system. Now, if you guys remember downloading the Splinter Cell Conviction Fusion mod, uh, you of course open that up and you just put everything right where it needs to be put at. You know, uh, you don't have to do it from system; you can do it from you know SRC. But you get my point. You would have everything from there. Now, the big question is: Okay, you have it up and running. You have you have the mod system. How the hell is this supposed to work? This literally is going to be done in about a minute tops because really all you have to do is just this. You go, to, you right click your conviction, you go to your properties. You see that little launch, the little launch option there. You highlight this whole launch option there. Wine lovers, uh, wine, uh, wine, blah, wine, wine, D L L override. That's what it's supposed to say. I said wine lovers. My bad. <laughs> That's some crazy shit. Wine DLL overrides. That's what it's supposed to be saying. Equal, and you got version equal NB. System detection equal D. Of course, the percent sign command percent. Now I will put this in the description, but you would actually need this if you want the full thing to work as intended. Um, other than that, it won't work uh, the way that you want it to. You'll 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 like have some like some weird issues here and there. But uh. With that, then after this, you just run the game and it should be fine. So right now, I'll just run it as an example. Of course, when you when you're you know as you can see, it's on. When you run it, you shouldn't see that system detection thing. You should see you shouldn't see any introduction, uh, any introduction screen. It should just boot up the game, like straight up, put you in the main menu. Of course, right after this, but then yeah, it should just put you right into the game like this. Come on, there you go. I'm gonna say it's starting to piss you off a little, but yeah, there you go. As you can see, that's the game, and it runs. Of course, for me, it runs fully at 120 FPS. I guess this is the max the game can go. Which I'm okay with because you can see I have it at 144 hertz. Um, but yeah, one other thing, if you noticed, this thing fully fixed the controller issue for me. If you guys remember, I um I had a controller problem with having to play this game, but because of that mod, that fusion fix, it fixed the mod situ it fixed the controller situation, and I'm able to play the game as you know I would want to play it. Now it does come with the uh blacklist controls if you're used to playing splinter cell blacklist then the controls shouldn't be a problem for you uh but uh right now let me boot into a game so now sam knew everything knew that the best friend he'd murder let me boot into the game let me go ahead and you know i'm not exactly gonna play this mission but i will try to get through this part well not try to get through the part but well yeah, why not? I'll try to get through the part as best I can. Um, as you can see, the mod is definitely active because you see there's a counter right below, just an ammo counter right below the pistol icon, and you don't have this in the original Splinter Cell Conviction. It's actually infinite ammo for your pistol. For me, I didn't like that because for me, I want to at least have a challenge to use what I got. So, I know I got this on Rookie, you know, this is just a test. I really was just testing this out like uh for like a good like hour or two. And it's just fine. So that's fine by me. 
stuff going on. All right. There's probably other ways to get by here. Yeah, there is. There's another way right here. I didn't even realize it, honestly, the whole time playing. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Uh, I did not do a good job. Honestly, I deserved that because uh, I was not paying attention. Yeah, yeah, I'm not the best Splinter Cell player, guys. I'm, I'm not the best. I did not even mean to fuck that up the way that I did. First off, I didn't even know you could go through here. Alright. Also, uh, another key thing with this mod is you can see the... Uh, Sonar ones doesn't isn't exactly all that blinding, which is very good. Let me put on this remote mind thing. No, not the remote mind. The proximity. Every time you pick up the fucking tray to put you gotta go back into the jungle, you gotta take it with you. Load the truck and. Gotta be home. Target is in the area. Got a situation here. Sweep the area. Not good. Contact my ass, ain't nothing there. I know you're here, asshole. You might as well come on out. You got one dude over there. We can't kill that other guy. We actually need to keep him alive. For as far as I know with this mission. Oh, that's you, just him. It's just a matter of time. Well, that's okay. I'm gonna fix your ass. You gotta catch me, motherfucker. You hear me? Well, if that's all this took, that's not a problem. Come on. Tell me what I need to know, and I might not snap your neck. Fuck you! I'm not afraid of you, Fisher! And there you go, that's oh, literally the whole part. Just two fucking proximity mines, and there you go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's a weapon I DMP over there. How do I shut it down? Oh, don't know. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you, asshole. Funny. Now, tell me what I need to know. Damn. That's I don't good. know anything else. Oh, I swear. Stop wasting my time. I didn't even know he did that. If you don't know, who does? Oh, scientist. Brought over by Prentiss. Inside the warehouse. Oh, gonna be Holy shit. After the EMP goes off. I didn't know you he know. did all that. You don't say. Wow. That was fucking crazy. Um... Yeah, you'll have that little hitch there, but other than that, it's, it's relatively good. I got lucky. And yes, you won't be able to fully see through walls, it'll be a little better. That was a bad mine. Well, someone's gonna walk right into it. Yep, as expected. I know I'm cheating to using the mine. I don't give a fuck right now. I'm just doing it just to show off. I feel like there's a fourth somewhere. There is. There's a third. 
I feel like this is four. Hey, you again, Fisher? You know it's too late anyway, right? Hey, boss, I think we got it in close by. No time. I got two left. Try to get that motherfucker. God damn! Shit. Nothing to report. Come on. I know y'all want to go in the dark. The guy who did this. He's gonna pay. I'll get the bastard who did this, man. I promise you that. Eyes and ears, people. Eh, that could have gone better. I forgot he has his fucking helmet on. That's the thing that gets me. Alright, well, there you go. Um, That's the game. I hope it worked out well for you guys with this issue. Other than that, uh, I'll see y'all then. Uh, riding the fans out. See you with my next tutorial, which will be how to get the EA Play friends list to work and get that up and running. Until then, bye.